Okay, the long point plays. The first one is pretty uncontroversial because it's got a really good illustration. We attack, attacking from our right. From this point, he brings his hands up. And I hit him underneath his chin, to his chin. Not to be, that seems to be pretty clear, pretty uncontroversial. What happens next? I would get definitely go with the way of breaking in that Dave Rawlings has shown. Now, the reason why is that I feel that you find in these long point plays, the early Kunstdesfektens do play in a mutio. Okay. Not being able to use them quite as neatly. So, here I'm in a position, so let's just take for a minute. Here am I, I'm in a position where I could use Mutieren, okay? I could hit, okay, see? If he goes up, I'm gonna come underneath. So he's not gonna go up. No? I'm gonna come here and I could strike to his lower openings, but that's not particularly useful in my context. So I've got a potential advantage of the blade. How am I gonna use that? So come to long point here. So, basically the entry, entry of the Dave Rawlings show here. This is, I think, where he's on spec. In long point, mutia, mutation over the top, past it to here, there. Okay, so that's my entrance. Stuart at speed. Now, the next little snippet that Dave shows is waiting for an attack from above for the wrench that doesn't quite fit the text. So it says, after you, it says, after you have broken through underneath with the rose, then strike with crossed hands. So here's the text of the next one. Or after you've broken through below from the bind with the rose, then wrench his sword sideways from the other side with the short edge so that your hands cross over one another in the air, strike deep with a short edge over at his head. So no, no mention of an, a cut of a cut from your opponent in that description. Here, bind through. Here and here, crossed hands. Wrench, crossed hands. Okay, so I'm going to go from crossed hands to crossed hands. And at least this is why the way we're reading it at the moment. One mutation here. And if he flows with from that, then this motion helps keep me safe anyway. there this sequence flows really nicely and I think it matches the text pretty well so we've had an application to my specific context of the Mutieren the early KDF Mutieren here we have in the next play a um, an application of the Duplier so this is a classic Duplier and strike with crossed arms behind 
And this is a bit tricky because he says a lot of different, quite contradictory things right in this text here. We go, bind it against his incoming cup, as soon as they connect, so the same setup. Push your pommel through underneath your right arm, stepping at the right same time, well out to his left. No notion of striking him yet. Okay. Okay, which is weird because you can pop someone behind the head with the Duplion. And go up across hands and cut with the long edge through with the rose sideways from below. So here underneath. So binding. Cross the hands. Now I'm going to reverse, now that leaves me open, so I'm going to reverse direction. So we're binding in long point. Yep. Okay. I duplier okay. and cut up to here. So we have the rose pattern again. Yep. One, two, there. Okay, so last one, last technique that is called out in the rose in the long point section, that's what we've got time for today, is where now this one is nicely, nicely um, illustrated. We've cut to your opponent, you think that he's going to bind on my blade, so it's attacking my blade. Come underneath. This is, an, this is a weird and looking awkward hanging parry, but works beautifully. And from this position, either wrench on your sword and strike with crossed hands, or just cut like a weird with a rotation with the long edge. So like this. One, two. Okay, and from there, French strike. We're going to yep. One, two, right. two, long edge. So this one kind of works very much regardless of what he's done. Done. It says he's chasing the sword a bit or he's falling on your sword a bit. So you notice that he, that allows you the opening to get through behind him in the bind and wrench to here. Now of course if you end up, Joseph, me. Yep. And of course if you end, if by some freak at the end of this you end up on this side, this, this side Duplier and striking with a long edge is set up very well from this position. Here, there, there. And that this rose action has allowed me to make this collection. One, two. So he's set up for this, set up for that. This is another classic KDF position. So that I would normally stab him in the face from. What does Maya do? 
he does the next thing because he can't do this thing. One, two, strike with the long edge behind. Or I'll come through. Sometimes I might just strike him with the long edge on this side. Give him the head. So that's all of come over, that's all of the rose techniques in from Mittelhut and from Long Point and Langenort that um, Maya has shown us. Joseph has helped me heaps go through that, so this is the first Hema win to note tonight. We're excited to be putting this interpretation out for everybody. Hope you enjoyed it.